Hey y'all, so the day that you're watching this is gonna be my 18th birthday. I'm gonna be an adult. I'll be able to drink, do drugs, smoke weed, and fuck hookers, you know what I mean? But yeah, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, like since I was have been turning 18. But yeah, today in this video, I'm gonna talk about 18 things I've learned at 18. These are a collection of things that I've had to learn myself, advice that I've gotten from people, and basically just like rules that I live by and things that make me, me. I hope you like this video, so let's just get straight into it. The first thing that I have learned on my 18 long, long years on this earth is to say yes to things and go out and experience as many things as you can and try new things because if you don't, you're gonna live to regret it. Number two, self-love is so important. I think that it's like the most important thing ever to once a week take a bath, light a candle, read a book, put on a face mask. You need that time to yourself to just like be alone and like think to yourself. If you're like constantly caught up in things and you're always on the internet or talking to people, you just need that time to be by yourself in the fucking bath, butt ass naked. Number three is don't stress about things. You never will gain anything good from worrying about something and overthinking things, so there's no point in doing it, you know? If you're ever worried about a situation or something that's happening in your life, all you have to do is literally step back and think, if I'm like thinking about this in two years, will I even remember it, let alone still care about it? Because chances are you won't. If you're worrying about schoolwork or like drama that's going on with your friends, like chances are that you will not even care about that in like two years. That's like really important to me. I always try to like not stress over things because when I do, it's just not a good situation. <laughs> Number four is something that I'm a big advocate for. Skip school, go and do fun things. Like skip school, go to the movies with your friends, go shopping, like you need that time to, you know, be fucking rebellious. Is that like a good ex like word? Like use your teenage years to fucking do shit, like don't, go to school. <laughs> Obviously don't fucking do it every day, but it's okay like once every couple of months to just ditch fucking school, go to the movies, do something fun, you know? Number five, other people's opinions of you literally don't matter. As long as you're confident in yourself and your own achievements and you feel worth in yourself, then it doesn't matter what other people think of you. If you spend your life like worrying about what other people are thinking of you and stuff like that, you're never gonna be authentically yourself. That's like the most important thing ever, is to be authentically you and show people the real you. You know, you don't wanna not be yourself because you're scared of what people are gonna say, you know? The minute that you stop thinking about what other people are thinking about you is when you're really gonna come into yourself as a person. Number six, Instagram followers don't matter. It's only a number. If you have 100,000 followers on Instagram, they can't lie in your bed and cuddle you at night, so it literally doesn't mean anything. It's just a number. I have had so many times where I've been so caught up in that I'm like, oh my god, why did I lose two followers today? Like, what's going on? Like, am I fucking ugly? Like, what the fuck? So yeah, that's like really important is to not get caught up in that shit. Number seven is to appreciate the world that we live in. Go to the beach and walk along the shore with your fucking shoes off and your toes in the sand and appreciate like the sky and the sunset and just everything that's beautiful about the world that you don't control, but also appreciate your circumstances and the things that you have been given by your parents, by your like privilege as a person. You can always think in your mind, no matter how bad you're feeling about yourself, you can always remember that there is somebody who has it worse than you and you just need to always remember that and appreciate it and try to do that every single day. When you're doing something, just think about how beautiful the world is and that you should appreciate it. Number eight, watch documentaries. Go on YouTube, go on Netflix, watch documentaries and learn about things that you have like never even thought about before. It's really fun. Number nine is don't brag about things. It's not a good look and nobody is ever going to be drawn to a person who's bragging about their Instagram following, their hot outfits, their hot ass boyfriend, like nobody cares. Don't brag, be humble, it's such a better look sister. Number 10, people aren't always gonna understand where you're coming from or what you're talking about and that's okay for people to have different opinions to you. And sometimes you need to learn to not fight people on things. Or at least I do. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to let people have their opinions even if it's not what you agree with. Number 11, you can't find happiness in somebody else. You need to find happiness in yourself 
because other people aren't always going to be around to keep you happy and keep you entertained so you need to learn how to do that for yourself and that's so so important number 12 don't try to please and impress and win over people who don't like you because it's not gonna work and there's no point if someone likes you they like you if they don't they don't that's great they're a loss Put all of your time and energy into impressing the people who love you and the people who support you and put your time into loving them back. Number 13. Be kind to people every single day. You don't know what people are going through in their own lives and giving somebody a compliment can completely turn around their day. If you try to take the time out of your day to give one person a compliment in your entire like 15 or 16 waking hours of your day try to give one person a compliment and it will make the world so much better i'm such a firm believer in what you put out is what you get back number 14 give everything your best effort whether that's a friendship a test you're doing a fucking project you're working on put your all into it and then you'll be pleased with it even if the results aren't what you want you will know that you put your all into it rather than half-assing it and then not caring, you know? Number 15, always let the people around you know that you love them because you never know what's gonna happen or how short your time together will be. So just always let people around you know that you appreciate them and you love them so much. Number 16, it's okay to feel sad. It's good to feel sad because then you can appreciate feeling happy so much more. When I'm sad, I like to watch breakfast at Tiffany's, eat a box of fucking chocolate, drink some tea and just unwind and it's okay to let yourself feel like that and stay in that place for a while because you will come back out of it when you're down it lets you appreciate the times that you're up so much more number 17 a big lesson i've learned is shamrock shakes will always be fucking disgusting and taste like fucking toothpaste no matter year after year after year 18 lit literally 18 years every st patrick's day i'm like okay i'm gonna give it a chance like maybe it will taste good this year but no it's always gonna taste like melted toothpaste number 18 last on my list is to always know what you want and go and get it make your own path in life like don't wait for opportunities to come to you if you want something go and get it if you want an experience go and make it you can't wait for these things to come to you you really need to work and if you work it will come to you i believe so much in the law of attraction and it's like if you work for something it will come to you so yeah that's something that you have to do and that's something that i really really believe in well that's everything for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you found it like somewhat entertaining um I just wanted to make this video more for myself so I can look back in like five years to see what 18 year old me thought of the world but yeah make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it hopefully I'll be making some good vlogs with me in the club getting drunk doing cocaine because I'm 18 now bitches thank you for watching I love you so much